Hi guys, welcome to our next installment of our Gentle Yoga series. So this is a, a slightly shorter session and we're working through a modified sun salutation. Many of you will know I love a sun salutation, so we'll take it nice and easy. Just get into the bodies and come down for a relaxation on the mat at the end. So enjoy your practice and I'll see you on the mat. So really grounding through the feet. Knees can be soft. So we're borrowing this exercise from uh, Qigong. It's called shaking the tree. Many of you have done this. Yeah, it shouldn't be too new. <clears throat> so the first thing we want to do is really find our roots. So feeling the shape of the feet, the weight. And we want to distribute the weight evenly between the toes and the heel. So just play around with swaying forwards and back until you feel a good, strong, stable foundation. And pelvis should be neutral. So you can take your fingers and put them on the knobbly bits at the front of your pelvis. And you can wriggle side to side, sway forwards and back. Just until you find that position that feels right and neutral. Shoulders relaxed and a sense of lift in the spine. So we'll just take a few breaths here and feeling how the breath moves the body. So you may feel the shoulders lifting, the pelvis rocking, the belly extending. Wonderful. So we're going to begin our practice. So we raise the forearms up so they're roughly parallel to the earth. Elbows are gently into the body and you begin to pulse the knees. So let the pelvis drop and we'll start slowly. So we want the dropping action to be quite passive. So rather than squeezing down and up, there wants to be an element of letting go. And you can build up the intensity to help you maintain a relaxed body. Let the wrists be floppy. So rather than holding the hands, if you hold the hands, grip the hands, make a claw, you'll notice your shoulders seize up. But if you relax the wrists and let the hands flop up and down as you bounce, You'll notice it's easier to let everything else go. And you can continue to build the intensity, speeding up as much as you're comfortable. And we'll do this practice for five minutes. You can vocalize. I don't know if there's any particular reason. It just feels good. I know Alistair uses it. Some of his vagal tuning. So this is our lymphatic system drainage. <clears throat> we were taught this on a retreat last year. When you're sitting for 12 hours a day, this is really great to help get things moving again. Maybe you're used to being more active than you're able to be at the moment with the restrictions. So do this a few times a day. It can help keep you moving. And if you're feeling more vigorous this morning, you can let the heels bounce. Let them come up slightly. Be light. I think I read the kidney meridians are around this point. I may be wrong. And the thighs may begin to warm up. You may start to smile. 
There's a number of practices I can't help but get a smile on my face. This is one of them. And some of the reading I did talks about this sense of lightness, like white light entering from your crown and trickling down through your body as you do this practice. So maybe try that as a visualization and see what that does to this experience. And maybe if you're not feeling to smile, maybe just make your mouth into the shape of a smile and see what that does. <laughs> So we can begin to slow it down for the last minute or so, so no sudden stops. <sighs> mm. You can let the arms go, maybe just give them a swing. And now we're going to take a traditional yogic posture. So taking the big toes touch, heels an inch apart if it's comfortable. We're going to shine the palms forward, lift under the buttocks, lift the chest, neck is long, so we're in mountain posture. Close the eyes, let the knees be softer than normal. And we're just going to breathe here. And bathe in the sensations of the body, whatever they may be. like I could just stand here for the next 50 minutes, but I won't do that to you. Mm. Wonderful. When you feel ready, coming down to our extended child's posture. So we're going to begin our asana class in our child's posture. So knees are as wide as the mat, big toes touching. And arms are extended in front of us. You can come straight in if you wish, or if you'd like to take a little more time, you can wiggle the hips side to side, slowly easing into the groin. So we haven't done our normal hip opening sequence. Notice how different this posture may feel because of that. And finally, resting the forehead down. So normally we lie down after we've done shaking the tree. So we'll spend a little longer here bathing in those sensations, watching the breath. And if this is uncomfortable around the knees, please do take support of cushions or blocks, whatever you need under your seat. Mm. So we'll make our three inquiries here. So check in with your physical body. How is it feeling today? And then let's check the quality of the mind. Mm. 
and then to the energetic body. So maybe the vibration, the buzz, the hum, the lightness is more vibrant. So shaking the tree can really get things going. And we're going to begin to move. So walking the hands to the right side of the mat. <clears throat> Keep going until you feel a nice stretch from the left little finger to the left hip crease. And then we're going to breathe into the whole left side. So maybe you feel a stretch in the triceps, armpit, the lats, the muscles around the ribs, intercostal muscles, and side waist. And we're using the breath to ease these open. So rather than forcing in, let's begin now to breathe into our postures. We'll take two more here. One more. Mm -hmm. Working the hands back through center and coming over to your left side now. So until you feel the stretch from the right little finger all the way to the right hip crease. Mm -hmm. So tricep, armpit, ribs, lat, side waist. Mm -hmm. Just one more here. Mm -hmm. And then walking the hands back to center. We'll engage the arms now so the elbows are lifted. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. And we're ready to move. Our next inhale, we're going to float up in one piece, coming up to a tabletop posture. Hands directly under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And we're breathing here, so we can untuck the toes, or if like me you've got cramp in one of your feet, just give it a stretch out by tucking the toes, and then we'll relax. So we're going to take our spine articulations, as we often do, so keep the creases of the elbows looking at each other, and we're ready to move. So inhaling, dropping the belly, dropping the chest, looking forward, stretching the whole front edge of the spine, and then exhaling, contracting up under the buttocks, into the stomach, rounding out your back and following your breath. So we all have different capacities. And exhaling. We'll do one more in this form. That's one more of each. And exhale to round out the spine. And now we're going to take free form movement. So move however feels good for you. So swaying the hips, rolling into the buttocks, whatever you need. Just make sure you maintain your breath. Mm. Wonderful. And then we'll come back to our tabletop posture once more. And we're going to take our cow and cat again just to reset in our position. So inhaling, drop the belly, drop the chest, gaze slightly forward. And exhale, rounding up into the spine. Coming back neutral. So leaning forward now, so we're going to skip those extra two postures. We're going to tuck the toes and lean back. So we're stretching out the bottoms of the feet and getting into the Achilles. And you can stay here or you can float the knees, depending on how much stretch you'd like here. And we'll stay a couple of breaths. 
And if you'd like to come deeper, send the hips high and find a downward dog. Knees can be bent. And we walk through the legs, so stretching the back of the right, then the left. Any movements that you need. Now we'll just settle into stillness for a couple of breaths. It's always good to feel this posture, feel its stability and strength. One more inhale, exhale. And then we're going to walk our feet forwards to the top of the mat. So coming into a forward fold. So feet can be as wide as the hips, and you can have the knees deeply bent, let the head hang down. You can also equally have the legs straight. And we're going to sway the torso wherever we are. So just easing into the legs, the hips, the buttocks. Releasing out the back, let the top of the head be shining towards the floor. So we're kind of looking between the legs. Just easing out the body at this early stage. So as we come into postures today, if you know advancements that you'd like to take, so I'm going to instruct the entry level postures and I'll stay there and you can take the extra things if you know how to do them safely. So we're going to bring the feet closer together, so parallel feet all the way down or you can have the big toes touch heels one inch apart. So this is to give space for the sacrum. And now we're going to take the hands to the thighs with the fingertips pointing towards the knees and as we inhale we bend the knees, lift the chest. Shoulders are rolling back and we're going to use the hands for support and we're trying to shine our heart forward. Bum will be sticking out, but we're going to try and round the bum under, so turning the tailbone down to lengthen the lower back. So this is the beginning of our chair pose, our awkward posture. And we're breathing here. Each exhale, see if you can sit a bit lower and really do give yourself support with your hands. It will take some of the weight. Breathing in, lift the heart. Exhale, sit the buttocks low. Two more breaths here. One more inhale. And you're going to exhale, folding forwards. Wonderful. Give the legs a shake. And we're going to gently roll up through the spine, but we're going to take three breaths to do so. And we're only going to move as we inhale. So bending the knees, we're going to roll up a few inches as we inhale and pause for the exhale. Roll up a few inches, inhale and pause to exhale. Notice that natural softening that happens. Inhaling, rolling all the way up. And we pause to exhale. So standing at the top of our mat, big toes touch, heels apart. Hands are in prayer at heart center, shoulders are back. So we lift under the buttocks, so at the top of the legs. Thighs are squeezing together. Chest is lifted and lower belly is gently drawing in. So we've worked with the banders before. Closing your eyes here. We just let the blood pressure settle. We were upside down for a moment then. And we breathe. Wonderful. Gently opening the eyes. So before we come into our sun salutation proper, we're going to take our hands to our lower back, so fingertips pointing down towards the bum. So this way. Shoulder blades drawing backwards, elbows reaching towards each other. And we're doing this because we're going to take a very gentle lift of the sternum. So rather than a back bend falling backwards, we're going to lift the sternum high Push down with your hands into the buttocks. This will give you support. And lift your heart. And we're going to breathe here. Shoulder blades down the back. So head isn't dropping back. Head is in line, the natural curve. We'll take another inhale. Lift your heart. And exhale, squaring the body. So that sense of lift in the front of the body is what we use here when we reach up and we gaze up. 
Rather than dropping back, it does become a back bend later, but in the beginning we're just lifting the front of the ribs. So we'll begin, hands in prayer, and we'll move together. And we're ready. Inhaling, reach your heart to the ceiling, gaze up. Now bend the knees, exhale, forward fold. You can do that with straight legs. And now coming for the flat back, bend your knees, hands to the knees, stick your bum out, flat back, gazing forward. And we're gonna breathe here. Like I said, if you know the other variations, please take them. So we should feel the back is nice and strong, no pain, building strength around the core. We'll take another inhale for lifting the chest and exhaling, folding down. Now step back with your right leg as far as you can. And we'll take the right knee, shin, top of the foot to the mat. If you need um, to get the knee off the floor, take a cushion under the right shin so that the knee is floating. And we'll have the fingertips to the mat. If you know how to float your torso up, please take this. I'm just going to instruct the simpler versions. And now, from here, we're drawing the left hip back. So we're pulling the left hip back in its socket. Right hip is screwing forwards. And we're breathing here and see with that softening with the exhale can you drop your pelvis a little more towards the left heel so it's heavy calming down inhale feel length in the spine and exhale softening into the pelvis one more deep inhale exhale and now we're going to take the left knee back to join the right so you should be leaning forward of the knees at this kind of angle 45 degrees and hands are going to be under the shoulders and now we're going to do our chaturanga from here you can do this with straight legs knees up if you wish but for everyone else we're going to focus on squeezing the elbows into the body to drop the head down so pushing back up coming back to what would be our modified tabletop so elbows are going to brush the ribs, squeeze your way down and we'll come to the floor. So now we're taking the hands under the shoulders and we're going to draw the chest through and up into a back bend. So these gentle first back bends, you can take a wiggle. So we're just lengthening the front of the spine and we're not looking up, we're not jarring into the neck, we're looking down. Maybe you look over the right shoulder. Maybe you look over the left shoulder. So just ease your spine. You may be really close to the floor. This is also great. So we're just getting into our bodies. One more deep inhale. And exhaling, drop the chest down. And then lifting up to your tabletop again. And bring your right foot forwards. So now fingertips are to the mat again. If you know how to sweep yourselves up, please go. Otherwise, we're going to stay here. You're drawing your right hip back, left hip forward. Square the hips and let the pelvis be heavy. Moving towards that right heel. Inhale, there's length in the spine. Exhale, pelvis is heavy. One more deep inhale for length. Wonderful. So now we're going to step forwards into our forward fold. So get there however you can. Knees are bent, head is heavy. You can take a sway here. And then hands to the thighs. We're going to inhale, stick the bum out, lift the chest into the flat back. We'll take a couple of breaths here. One more inhale. And folding forward on the exhale. And now bend your knees more deeply and we're going to roll up one breath, calming up to standing hands in press. So that's one side of our modified salutation. And we'll take the left side. So prepare. And we're moving. Inhale, sweeping up. Lift your heart. And exhale, bend your knees forward fold. Now inhaling to your flat back. So we're moving a touch quicker. Hands to the thighs. One more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. And now take your left foot back as far as you can into the lunge. Place the knee, shin, top of the foot down. 
and we're gonna stay here, fingertips to the mat, right hip draws back, left hip screws forward. Make sure your right knee is above your right ankle. Length of the spine as we inhale and exhale, let the pelvis be heavy. One more breath. And as we exhale, take the right knee back to draw the, uh, join the left. <clears throat> Inhaling here in our, our modified plank. And now we're exhaling, squeezing the elbows into the body, dropping down onto the belly. Inhale, draw your chest through. So here, this is an upward dog. Even if we're quite high, let the buttocks be relaxed. So you want the lower half of the body to be relaxed. We're stretching the front of the spine. Just don't let there be any crunching in the lower spine. So never push these things to the point of pain. Wonderful, we'll take one more inhale and we'll exhale, pushing back to our tabletop and then left foot comes forward. So we lunge on the other side. Fingertips to the mat and we're breathing here. If you'd like to float up, please do. Draw your left hip back, right hip forwards. And we're breathing. Inhaling for length of the spine. Exhaling, pelvis is heavy. So these instructions, these movements, you just have to have a sense of them because that's enough. You know, the power of the mind is so strong that it will make your spine lengthen maybe just a millimeter, but it's that sensation of lift. And as you soften, it's the idea of opening and falling down. One more inhale here, and we'll exhale, stepping forwards to our forward fold, knees bent deeply. Inhaling to your flat back, hands to the thighs, and exhaling, forward fold. Bend your knees deeply, and we'll roll up through the spine, coming to standing. Hands to heart center in prayer. So before we move on, we're going to do some strengthening work for our legs. So I'll turn to face you. So hands in prayer at heart center. We'll take a moment, and you want to feel zipped up all the way from the bottom to the top, because we're gonna to start to rise onto demi point. If this is easier for you with your feet in parallel, so just a little bit apart, then please do. So we inhale, raising up onto the balls of our feet, arms above us. And as we exhale, we're gonna squeeze the feet down, place the heels down, inhale, lifting back up. So there's a real sense of squeezing down as you exhale. Try and time it with the exhale, inhaling back up to the top. Exhaling, lower the heels. So this is step one. And now we're gonna add our twist. So as we exhale, we're opening the arms to the right and looking back to the right hand. Inhale, squeezing up. And exhale, the other side, squeezing down. Try and keep both hips shining directly forward, even though the chest is twisting, inhaling up. And now exhale, squeeze down to the right. So the heels slowly find their way to the floor. Look back. Inhale, squeeze up. Exhale, squeeze down. We'll do another one right and left. Inhale, squeezing up. Exhale, squeeze it down. So it's the same amount of muscular energy to come up as it is to come down with control. Last time, to the left, hips shine forward. Inhaling up and relaxing down. Bend your knees, give them a pulse. So you may feel this around your calves, your Achilles. So just easing that out. Wonderful, so we're gonna do a little bit of side work here. So we have two options. So we're doing crescent moon stretches. So you can either have, we'll do the easiest version first. So right hand to your right hip, left arm is beside your head. And we're gonna press down more firmly in the left foot. And you may need to bend your right knee a touch, but we'll see. We're gonna inhale here, and now we're gonna try and bend over to the right. So leaning to the right, but without crunching the side. You want to feel like you're lifting up and out of this side. Breathing deeply, so each exhale, see if you can come over a touch further. Inhale, there's length, so press down in your left foot. Maybe bend the right knee a touch, and you'll feel you can get deeper into your stretch. One more inhale, exhale here, and inhaling back to center, switching sides. So left hand, and it's a bit higher than the hip, it's kind of on the side waist, if that's my belly button, middle finger in line with the belly button. 
right arm beside the head maybe a micro bend in the left knee inhaling here and then exhale reaching over push into that left hand it will help give you support lift you out of the side waist so we don't want to crunch the side waist extra length inhale length all the way from the right foot to the right fingers and exhale reaching sideways as opposed to reaching down one more here and inhale back to center so we're going to repeat that right and left if you wish you can still use the hand for support otherwise we'll interlace the fingers and take pistol grip arms beside the head so pushing down into the left foot we're going to breathe deeply in exhale reach up and over the ball calming down and we're breathing here we'll just do two more breaths here keep your chest open so we're not rolling shut another deep inhale exhale and inhale back to center bend the knees quickly and then stand up we'll come to the other side pressing more firmly in the right foot deep inhale and exhale reach up and over imagine that that hand is still there see that's what happens when you don't press down in your right foot you fall over another deep inhale exhale reach and inhaling back to center release your arms give them a bit of a shake bounce the legs bounce the hips and ease it out so coming back to the top of our mat, big toes touch, heels an inch apart, hands in prayer at heart center. So we're gonna make our way down, do some back strengthening exercises, and then come for our hips. And we're ready to move. So through modified salutation, inhale, sweep the arms, lift the heart exhaling to forward fold inhale bend the knees look forward gentle flat back exhale to fold and this time we just walk the feet back to the high plank so we are going to do one full high plank today so find length heel to the crown of your head if you really need to take the knees down please do we'll take an inhale here and exhale reaching forward lowering yourself down the elbows brush the ribs to your belly untucking the toes and now before we do our back strength we're going to draw the chest through into our baby back bend so maybe you're down at cobra or baby cobra maybe you're at full cobra or maybe you're at seal posture so just easing the spine wonderful and relaxing down so now taking the hands a little further forward so they're just uh, the fingers should be just above the shoulders and we're going to do some back strengthening work so just be mindful of your back there should be no crunching so no pinching or bone on bone sensations we want the muscles to be working here so we have three options so we're inhaling and we lift the spine so basically we're doing reverse sit-ups and exhale to lower down inhaling lift the spine and exhaling lower down second option is to use just the index fingers inhale lift the spine exhale lower down so you may notice you're working more in your back now and exhale lower down and the third option is to float the hands all together and it's the same movement inhale to rise up exhale lower down so whichever variation you're doing, we'll do four more. Last one. wonderful so taking the hands under the shoulders we're going to push back through tabletop and we're going to take a traditional child's posture here if you wish which is to bring the knees together and round out the spine arms can be beside the legs forehead down 
So this isn't always available to everyone, so I don't often do that version. I normally keep my knees as wide as the mat. Just take a moment here. Let go of your back. Wonderful. So we're going to inhale, floating the spine up, coming back to our tabletop posture. So we're going to do our hip opening twist here, and then we'll come to our seated posture. So we'll start with the left leg, just easier for you to see. Bring the left leg forward. So we're leaning onto the right palm, and we're going to turn the left toes out to 10 o'clock. Take the left hand to the thigh, and use that hand to guide the knee open. So you should feel opening all around the glutes, the hip, the buttocks. And we're up onto the blade edge of that left foot. Toes, pull your toes towards the knee, flex the toes. So we're doing this to open the hips. If you're really open here, you can come down onto the right forearm, maybe onto both forearms. It's up to you. And we stay a while, so working the hips. So wherever you are, try and maintain your breath. So the breath will often disappear. And we want to use that natural inhale, lengthening and exhale, softening to get us deeper into every posture. Wonderful. Lifting up now onto both palms. We're going to bring that left foot square again so that the knee is into the shoulder. So you may want a cushion underneath you here so that you can put your elbows on. So this is lizard posture. It has many different names, but we're going to aim to come down onto the forearms inside of your left foot. And again, keep this left knee into the shoulder. If the elbows don't reach the floor, you can be on the hands if you don't have a cushion. Or if you have cushions, take the cushions under the forearms, sort of around here, and they'll give you support. And we're going to breathe. So sometimes this is called dragon posture. It does build a lot of heat in the hip. Wonderful. We'll inhale, lifting back up onto the hands. So we have one more posture to do here. So you can either keep the right knee down or you can lift the right knee off the mat. We're leaning into the right hand and we're going to inhale, sweep the left hand open. So we're coming into a twist. So it looks the same whether the knee is up or down. And we're going to work on our breath here. So we inhale. See if you can feel length from the heel to the crown of your head, even though you're twisting. And as we exhale, we're opening the heart to the ceiling. Two more breaths here. So whether the knee is up or down. If the knee is up, see if you can get that right leg straight. That's the direction of travel. One more deep inhale. Exhale, open the chest. And then hand to the mat. We're going to switch legs. So step your left leg back and your right leg forwards. So making sure you're taking the longest lunge you can with the right knee still being above right ankle. And then we're leaning into the left palm, turning the toes of the right foot out to two o'clock. Take the right hand on the right thigh and guide the knee open. So you come onto the blade edge of the right foot, flex the toes towards the knee. And you can move around, find the sweet spot 
If you want to deepen and you have enough opening, coming down onto one or both forearms. So coming for our next posture, coming onto both hands, both hands inside of the right foot. And we square the right foot so the toes point directly forwards and the right knee is into the shoulder. It should be touching the shoulder, taking your cushion if you need support. And we're gonna aim to come down onto our forearms. So for lizard posture. Noticing the difference between the sides. So we're often very different. And maintain the lovely long slow breath. When we come into challenging postures like this, often the breath will either disappear or really ramp up. So just notice which is most often your habit. Couple more breaths here. And then when you're ready, lifting up onto your hands. <clears throat> so we're leaning onto the left hand now and either keeping the left knee down or straightening the left leg. We're gonna sweep the right arm open to find our twist. And we're gonna try and feel the length all the way from the heel to the crown of the head. See if you can maintain that lovely long slow breath. Two more here. As you exhale, trying to show your heart to the ceiling. Wonderful. So taking both hands to the floor now. Stepping back with the right knee. So you have an option here. You can either come to wide knee child's pose for a few breaths, or you can come to sit back in thunderbolt posture, so knees are touching, feet are touching, hands to the thighs, spine tall, and we'll breathe. So inhale, length of the spine, exhale, natural softening, maybe you feel your buttocks coming into more contact with the heels. Wonderful. And we'll inhale either forward into tabletop or lifting into tabletop. And we're going to ease our way down onto our stomachs. Stretch your right arm out and roll over onto our backs. <clears throat> so we're just going to take a gentle, happy baby. So maybe just drawing the knees up. Maybe holding behind the knees or the ankles, maybe the big toes, if you can keep the lower back down. Mm. Mm. Wonderful, we'll release the legs to the mat and we'll find our Shavasana. So backs of the hands, to the floor, toes falling out. Take a couple of breaths and scan your body. You should feel a bit lighter, a bit more easeful. And then check the quality of your mind. And then to the energetic body. And now let go of any technique, 
any concept of technique can just be a body in space. And I'm going to leave you here on the mat. Make sure you get up mindfully when you're ready to move. Have a stretch. And I'll see you next time.